You meant that before about the homosexuals, didn't you? No. I mean, you would prefer it if Cliff was straight. Honestly? Honestly. Yeah. I'm sorry, but, uh... But I, I worry about him. He's my little brother. And, uh... And I really look forward to playing with his kids someday. I understand. But I'm not sorry I met you. I don't know if I ever told you before, but... You've been a good buddy. You too. So what do you think they're gonna do to us? They'll probably shoot us. Where? <laughs> probably right here. I don't see why they should go to the trouble of taking us someplace else. I meant, do you think it'll be quick? What are we talking about? We are not giving up. We are not going to die without a fight, are we? No. We're going to do something about this, right? Right. What are we going to do? I got it. I got it. We'll rub the legs of our chairs together and fashion one of them into a spear. And when he comes down, when he comes down, you'll turn around and charge him with your butt. <laughs> that would seem to be your area of expertise. Don't get smart now. Sharpen, oh, sharpen. Sharpen, sharpen. Rub it. Rub it. Sharpen. Hold it down. Okay, you guys. Too late. Too late. Turn around, boy. To the rear. Charge. Hey. What'd you do to these chairs? Those were my mother's. Well, when she gets paroled, you can buy her a nice dinette set. I'm, I'm sure your mother is a wonderful woman and a credit to her sex. Shut up. What are you doing? Letting you go. Why? Joe, I'm sure the man knows his job. Well, the Ballo brothers met with an untimely accident, so we don't need you to testify no more. I don't understand. I thought you worked for the Ballo brothers. No, I worked for Carmine Lipsky. God rest his soul. He wanted to be sure the Ballow boys wouldn't kill you before the trial. We uh, figured if the law put him away, save us a lot of work. Why didn't you just let the police protect us? We don't trust them. If we trusted the law, we wouldn't be gangsters. We'd be lawyers. We can just go? I'll tell you what. You forget about your little visit, and I'll forget about the chairs. <laughs> your mother raised a wonderful child. <laughs> And tell her to think about bent rattan. It's much more durable, and it fits in with almost any day. Will you come on? Guys, it's great to be back. Here's to living every moment as if it were our last. Now, there's a cheery thought. <laughs> no, remember what you said about the loose ends that make up our lives? Well, you're right. It's those small moments that mean the most. We've got a second chance, and I'm going to do things differently. To tying up loose ends. Here, here. Hey, here. Yeah, Donnie, maybe you can tie your life off with one of them pretty pink bows. <laughs> no. No more, Lou. I'm going to let that go by. You mean I get free shots? <laughs> Lou, I think we should make an effort to get along. Don't talk stupid. <laughs> Mom has a surprise for you. Oh, a welcome home card? No, it's a bill for alimony. Harris's check bounced. <laughs> and uh, speaking of surprises, Sam did something nice. Why don't you uh, check the storeroom? The storeroom? There's nothing in the storeroom. Oh, my God, there's a storeroom in the storeroom. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Lou wanted to turn it into a mud wrestling pit, but we went with Sam's idea instead. <laughs> I hope you like it. I missed you, Joe. Wait a minute. Sam, what about the cost? How could you do this to me behind my back? I don't have that kind of money. Joe, don't think about the money. How can I not think about the money? Maybe if I kissed you. 
<laughs> Use it in good health, Joe. It didn't work. That's it. I am finished with her. Joe, she gave it to you for free. Free? I love her. I love that woman. Sam! Sam! Come to me! Oh, the quaint mating call of the heterosexuals. Obviously a whistle too high for you to hear. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. What's the matter? You a sissy? <laughs> Come on, Cupcake, you ain't no fun. Let's light the candles. Good idea. Why don't you rub your head against a piece of flint and make a spark? <laughs> He's back! <laughs> hey, I give you the honors. <laughs> I hope these aren't exploding candles. <laughs> Donald, I am hurt. Huh? You offend my sense of friendship. Oh, hey, Lou, oh, wait. wait. <laughs> Welcome home, suckers? <laughs> A bunch of slimy aliens are throwing a party, but all the guests are dead on their feet. Night of the Creeps is a real scream tomorrow at 8, right here on Channel 5. Now, Ralph thinks he's found a world-class heavyweight. Takes one to know one. Stay tuned for the Honeymooners next.